everyone this is dr sherry you know um, as you can see this um, um, particular you know the question you know uh, and in the boxes especially something is given about the ssri using so um, normally you know like you know ssri is a drug which takes time to work at the same time there is a certain time being you know for withdrawing this drug so here you know they're talking about the this particular ssri so how long you know you can use this kind of drug that is basically the question so sometimes you know this kind of you know uh, recalls has some problem so you need to figure out the problems actually especially uh, the way they're asking so this kind of question you know how long a ssri basically you can use so the answer for this one is basically you can use it up to one year this is important and two more extra information the um, you know ssri um, something it takes uh, at least a month time especially you can say 15 days at least time to start working why because it requires genetic expression at the same time when you stop an SSRI how much time it takes um, it takes at least a you know uh, probably a month to take withdraw it all right and how long you can use it you can use it for at least like one year now some extra questions related to SSRI which is a very vital topic in main stem exam like with ssri and certain drugs so is a also can a question come regarding drug interaction so ssri um with certain other drugs can cause um, serotonin syndrome so that you should know one of the very popular questions that often comes ssri with um, the one with tramadol hydrochloride so what we should do next actually should i stop the tramadol should i start the stop the um, like SSRI so the answer is you should use the both according to CMDT there's a like famous book you can know you know so uh, according to that book you should stop the both drugs so some doctor also make confusion no we should stop the SSRI some says no we should stop the tramadol no like the answer is both should be stopped actually so this is another version of this recall and, and at the same time sometime you will be given um, you know serotonin syndrome to make a diagnosis so they'll give you scenario and you need to make the diagnosis so this is the you know different ways the recall come so it's not like you know this recall is this and so this one is this and so you need to know the differentials at the same time at the same time what are the other things that is coming in the exams persistently so that's how if you take the preparation i hope so you'll get success you can follow us in our youtube and also at the same time um, there are courses available you can also join but uh, it's okay like knowledge is for sharing all my best wishes thank you so much have a great day this is dr sherry